I've been asked to make an introduction for the John 316 UK's videos. This is the introduction. I didn't want to make it, but have you seen the size of the John? It's huge, so you've just got to do as you're told, haven't you? It's called The John. Not just John, The John. 316, I'm guessing that's his age. He's 316 years old. He comes from a town called Uck. Uck. UK. Uck. Um, so, yeah, we've got to watch it. So, just don't dare press stop. Because he'll come for you. It's huge, honestly, it's huge. I'm going to watch it anyway. Evening all, uh, it's Friday, Friday night, the 9th of August. We've just come out with the message from here, haven't we? Just walked in from there. Turned, turned the detectors on, she's had a fair signal from here. I'm not cleaning any more off it because there's a lot of jewels in it, by the looks of it. They're only paste jewels, but some kind of brooch. So that's pretty cool. Fair signal. Looks like it's had a bit of gold gilt on it. Well done, man. I'm not cleaning any more until we get home. Right, see you in a bit. Okay, next finds Amanda's again. Just from here. Uh, it's just an old shoe. <laughs> <laughs> quite a big, thick, heavy duty old shoe, all that, so it's quite old, I think. And nobbles on the end. There you go. Are you going to put that in your finds bag? No. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Stick up there on the fence, yeah? <laughs> right, see you in a bit. Hey guys, nothing special, but it was deep down. Uh, it's just like a big lump of lead. That looks like it might have been something. Like it's had an hole in the middle. So, I don't know. Flat on that side. I don't know, could be all. Looks like it's had an iron pin in there. A couple of it or something. Okay, let's carry on. things as well. <laughs> Patterns and designs. Okay, next find. Okay. From there, it's a furniture fitting. It's probably off the door a door handle or something. Okay. Let's carry on, see you in a bit. Okay, good. Uh, decent find this time. Well, I, I think it's a decent find anyway. Uh, I haven't cleaned it up yet. But I can see there's a bit of detail on it. Uh, spindle wall. Um, and I love these. These are cool. That was deep, that was. Well deep. But yeah, that's a nice design on there. Uh, I can milk that a bit. But yeah, that's a beautiful one there. Okay. I'll clean that up if anyone take some pictures, right? Right up on that else she is. Uh, not even know if she's got anything. Right, okay. Carry on, see if there's anything else. See you in a bit. Right, okay guys, after that medieval spindle wall, I've had a coin uh, from here, <coughs> and it's a two pence. <coughs> I don't normally find any mod modern money up here, it's usually George III's, scratch it anyway, don't matter. Anyway, what I wanted to say is I want to send out my best wishes to Thomas101834, a really good friend of mine. Um, Maybe a couple of shout outs, I suppose. Super Drew, thanks for subbing me last night. Uh, a few others subbed me last night. Um, Axel, uh, River Rat, 2013. Uh, glad you enjoyed all your stuff I sent over. Uh, looking forward to see what's coming over for me and Youngin. Um, I just want to say hi to Jet Ski John, 2006, and Jackie Smith, two great people. Subscribe to them if you can. 
Uh, also, everybody who turns up on the digging estuary digs, um, you do a great job, apart from the tossers who don't fill the rolls up and the other ones who leave the shit in the holes. It's just not on, really. Um, we'll catch you. <laughs> we'll catch you and we'll just kick you out. You won't come again. Um, so, cheers to Ian Norfi and Danny, uh, his missus, Kopi. Um, you fat little get, um, and hope to see you all on Sunday. If you want to help Thomas101834, by the way, you can uh, send him some money through PayPal. Uh, as, uh, just go to his e email address, which is um, thomas101834 at gmail.com. Put that into the PayPal and just drop him a quid, or a euro, or a dollar. Anything just help him get that ramp built. He's such a great bloke. Alright, we'll carry on. See you in a minute. Hello guys, it's uh, Saturday afternoon. Um, come out for a bit. It's, uh, I haven't been here for a few weeks. Um, anyway, I've just come from that car there. I've uh, said first. Signal for Diggable. I think it's uh, Copper Queen. Penny, maybe. Uh, looks like a hateney to me. Oh, actually, it's a uh, 1806 George third off Penny. That's going to clean up nice by the looks of it. That's in really good condition. Look at that. Sweet. That's nice. I thought it was uh, more modern a coin than that, but that is in really good condition. Okay. Right, yeah, there's Britannia on that look. Good one. Alright, good start. Okay. Let's carry on. See you in a bit. Hey up guys, I'm just having a uh, fag breakdown on the canal, this actually runs straight through my side, it's like this side and that side as well. Uh, can't believe some woman's just parked a barge up over there, got out, and is now cutting the grass on the towpath. <laughs> having a party somewhere. <laughs> right. Have a brew and then I'll get back at it. See Reed. you in a bit. I've just come up from down there having a brew and just here I've had um, Elizabeth second. Uh, two shillings I think it is. Yep. Uh, let's have a look at the date. 1958. 1958. Yep. Alright. Back on. See you in a bit. Okay. Uh, still sunny here. It's a nice day today. Um, just wonder what time it is. Uh, I know. Let's have a look at me. Watch what I've just found. <laughs> it's only a modern ish one anyway. Uh, Rolex. No, it's not. Accurist. <laughs> but yeah, it's cool all the same. It's not silver. And it's 20 past 8. Okay. In a bit. Okay, I've come across the field now into this one because it's a bit quiet over there now. Uh, but he's like half cut, half collected in this field. This is the one I had me, um, Edward, 
I went from down here. So I'm gonna have a play in here. Obviously he's picking that up in the week when it dries off a bit. Alright, let's crack on. See what we got. Okay, yeah, next right. find. Uh, I was just saying to myself over there, I've not had a good buckle or nothing for ages. And uh, I've just had a buckle. Uh, I'm not saying it's a good buckle, but it's a buckle. Yeah, it's a nice enough buckle though. I'll take it. Uh, I think there's quite a bit of stuff on here actually. It's just that big for one person. Uh, I'm just following the edge of this, this line here, so I'm doing it pretty meticulously, slowly. I'm getting stuff. Okay. I'll see you in a bit. Right guys, uh, for me I've just had a little pistol ball, a little tiny thing. Okay, I give off a belting signal like this. Alright, carry on, see you in a bit. Hello guys, just uh, going back up this edge here again. I've uh, just had a blank coin, copper disc, probably Georgian or something. Mm, nothing on it. That's all. Okay. Let's carry on. I'll see you in a bit. Hi guys, turn something over here. Could be something nice. Don't know yet. Not very sure. It's like some kind of cap badge or something. Yeah, it is a nice one. Cool, cool these. Hmm. That's where it's just come from. Oh, a mess, I don't know. I've done all around here, it's where I had the hammer from. <laughs> I don't know. Just shows you, don't it? That is nice. Still got the thing on the back as well. Alright. We'll have a look at that later then. Try not to destroy it too much. But I'll see you in a bit. Okay, last find probably for tonight. Now I just had it from here. Just off a buckle. Would have been a nice buckle that. Never mind. I hope it's the other half's up here somewhere. <laughs> Alright then. Let's go on. Head off now. See you in a bit. 